Okay, so we're in the truck with our first drive with the sway bar on. We're about to get on the highway. So I knew I could give it a little bit of gas and the uh, entrance to the highway is a left-hand turn and then a right-hand turn pretty quick. And I've noticed just getting to this point that the, uh, just normally when I'm getting over in the lane, it doesn't tip much at all. So maybe it'll be like driving my old Civic. Here we go, we're getting on the highway. It definitely doesn't lean. Are you noticing that? Do you notice that at all? I mean, obviously you can feel the truck move because we have 35 inch tall tires, but the body roll is, is gone or reduced significantly. I was gonna do a uh, comparison of like GoPro footage underneath the truck before I put it on, but I just didn't know where to go to test that. It's kind of hard to figure out where's the best way to get roll. I feel like I don't notice it until I notice it. Um, but it really seems like it helps quite a bit. I'm excited to feel what it's like with a big um, heavy load on the back with our truck camper and really, really test it out and see how much it helps then. Because the sway bar is heavy. So I'm imagining that it's it's pretty stout and the amount of uh, resistance it'll give uh, to us swaying. So um, I'm gonna keep driving, see if there's any other um, parts of the road that I normally experience sway on and I'll, I'll touch back in with you guys. All right, so we're gonna go around some traffic circles or what are they called? Rotary, circles. Rotary circles or rotisseries or roundabouts, whatever you want to call them. And we're just going to see what it feels like. Cause I, I do this every day after work, but haven't obviously done it with the sway bar. So this, the truck still tips some and that's to be expected, but we are coming up to one now. Maybe you can see it in my glasses. We're taking it at 20 miles an hour. Hopefully Duke hangs on. Yeah, I mean, it definitely inhibits some of the sway. That was pre pretty quick around there. I wish I could have driven this exact path right before I did it. I probably should have, but. It definitely handles it, handles it better. It's not, it's not an in vain mod. So I hope, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying them on this sway bar on your truck. If not, if you were thinking about getting it, do it. It definitely helps. I think especially if you are, um, you know, fully loaded, you have a full, full cab, you're hauling a trailer or something like that, um, or a load in the truck bed, it would help a lot. I, uh, I think my dad's truck, I've driven it and he has 20 inch wheels. So his tires are thinner, uh, the sidewall and it feels even tighter. So if you have the 20 inch wheels, it's good. It's going to make a huge difference. It's still making a difference for me. Um, but having such big tires, I think I'm not experiencing it to the same level that you would, um, with a smaller sidewall on your tire. So something to think about if you guys are looking into getting it. At the same time, it looks sweet. So that's always cool too. A nice added bonus. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you like your sway bars, if you're thinking about getting one and what you're putting it on. I'd love to hear from you. All right, we'll see you on the next one.